Well, speaking of the real deal. Yeah. There's not too many deals that are realer <laughs> than Doug Baldwin. Dougie the, Fresh. The undrafted man out of Stanford will not be denied. Old, You just can't put this guy in a box. You can't put old Doug in a box. Can't put him in the corner either. Nope. Can't put Doug in the corner. Can't put Doug in a box. Just put him on the field and let him do work. That's right. There's really just... Not too much bad things you can say about Doug. He's a, he seems like a all around good dude. He's a great interview. He's a leader, um, and and more so than anything, like he's just a a hard working dude. Right. He's ready to roll. Um, yeah. Yeah. We were talking off air about how he's jeopardized off field relationships because of how dedicated he is yeah. to the game. And I saw that putting in work. I saw that in like an interview. Taught him. He was talking about how you know he he loves this game so much that you know. He's jeopardized some off the field relationships because of, you know, how much time and effort and work that he and sacrifice that he puts into this game. Yeah, we can relate. You know, we're in here slaving away. Our wives are getting upset. because We're not hanging out with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have any big co here today, obviously. Right. Um, but he sh I know he shares kind of the same sentiments as uh, me and me and old Jay Wayne over here with with or about Doug Baldwin. Um, this was again, we he did give us our ranking, his rankings, and it's an average here. Um, and, and at, 16 at sixteen on the list to lead off the to lead the night. it off exactly. He's it's Doug Baldwin. So Big Coast's uh, whole ideology behind Doug Baldwin is that he he believes that you know from everything that we just stated about the work ethic and all that other stuff and and how much he loves the game is that he thinks that he could be catching balls and crushing much like Larry Fitzgerald way into the you know mid mid thirties twilight of your career quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Um. So I know that's a big reason why why Big Co's all in on on some Doug Baldwin, which I, I think I think both of us share the same kind of feelings. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a the the guy that's next in our average rankings uh, is is hard not. It's hard when you watch his tape to not put him up there, right? And then above the age. Dougie, but then when you watch Doug's tape, it's like, well, I gotta go right back to Dougie, right? Even, regardless of the age, uh, really. I mean, he's 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 a young twenty nine. If I had to. <laughs> If I had to pin that, yeah. Um, looking at him, in the last three years he's finished as the wide receiver ten in fit 2015, the wide receiver eight in 16, and the wide receiver 13 this last year. Yeah, and then like eight yards away this season from three consecutive thousand yard seasons, which you like right. to see. Seventy five catches, but he did have eight eight touchdowns. Right. I mean the the 2015. Kind of ten TDs in four games with fourteen total, which ten TDs in four games is is the record. I, I, he passed. Uh, yeah. I forget which Packer and Brett Favre, but mm -hmm. Russell Wilson to to Baldwin and and that stretch of games was I believe the most of anybody ever. Yeah. So that I mean that's a probably ridiculous. a pipe dream of fourteen. But I mean I I don't see any problem with you know seven to nine ten area for at least another year or two. Yeah, I mean he's got twenty nine over the last three years. That obviously that fourteen kind of helps him, but right. that's a solid average. And and to have to follow that up with eight is as strong as it gets. Right. Really. Absolutely. I mean, there's he's just really a complete receiver. There's really not much you could take. He smokes you in man coverage. Um, if you throw it his way, man to man. No chance. Yeah. Um, and then he's got the awareness to win in the zone. Yeah. You know, he knows where to be. He knows how to beat the zone. He knows, you know, how to slide with this guy. And, and you know, Russ is his guy. Yeah, he might be the only guy that likes Russell Wilson <laughs> in that locker room. They, they just, they're just, they know how to play together. They're on the same, he knows how to finish his route. And then he knows how to be kind of where they have a playground kind of yeah. sense about them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get in. I want to get into that a little bit more later. Like, but you'd mentioned, you know, the route running and beating man coverage. Like he's got Allen Iverson type quickness. Like his yeah. metrics don't jump off the page. Somehow, somehow the metrics say he's not good at football. <laughs> Fancy that. Yeah, at least some of them anyway. Um, but I mean, he's he, I've literally seen defensive backs fall down from some of the moves he's put yeah. on dudes like in the end zone. Right. It's crazy. And it's not like, you know, the speed that is is measured in like when he ran a 40 or whatever is not the same speed that shows up on the field. Right. Like it's just he he has what he's got game. The game speed is different than if you're racing somebody or racing himself in a timed event. It's just right. He just has that extra no gear because he, he he I believe it's a it's an inner it's an inner thing that he just he wants it more than you do. I know we said that a little bit about Jarvis Landry last week, and I'm going to bring it back on Doug Baldwin. Like, this guy just plays with, like, a boulder on his shoulder. Feeling kind of <laughs> older. I tripped in the merry-go-round. Nice. Yeah? Solid. Yeah. Yeah? All right. I like it. All right.
Got a little. Uh, what was who? Who was that? I don't know. Um, that John Denver's full of <laughs> shit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he's only missed two games in the last seven years. Durable, and none in the last five years. Yeah. So if he if he was a condom, that would be like <laughs> the best condom ever. That's definitely <laughs> the one you should pick for her pleasure. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. The dude plays all over the field. Obviously, he crushes it from the slot, but he can go vertical. He he has awesome hands. He has the third lowest drop rate this past year. Only one drop out of seventy six PFF deemed catchable balls. Right. Preface with that. Um, he can make the one handed grab, the diving play. He's he's gritty. He's tough. He's not afraid to go over the middle. He's great after the catch. He's yeah. had a thousand yak yards over the past three years combined. Gotta love that. But it's not just that he's great after the catch. He's great before the catch. After the play breaks down and Russell starts scrambling, the ad libbing yeah. is impeccable. Right. Like he and Wilson are on the same page, and they're 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 not only on the same page. They're on the same line of the same paragraph together. Like right. them boys just when that play breaks down and Russell starts scrambling. He just knows where Doug's going to be, yeah, and, Doug and Doug knows breaks where off go. his route yeah. and goes where he has to go to get open, and that's when the ridiculous plays are made, and right. it's fun to watch, and it makes your day, and it just sometimes it's just icing on the cake of a good day already. Yeah, and which you know this, this kind of stuff can be a little you know especially with a quarterback like Russell Wilson, it can be a little hindrance for an offensive coordinator and maybe some other receivers who aren't quite on that that same level. But them them boys are have a. Right. Uh, Telekinesis is that, mm-hmm. is that with it? Yeah, <laughs> telekinesis, Kyle. That's telekinesis. <laughs> another that right? tenacious D reference. So nice. Um, I don't. Another another cool thing about him is that I don't think that you know him and Russell are going anywhere in Seattle. They're both locked up long term contract wise. Now I know you had a note here that says you know they could possibly get out of. They do have an out this year. I believe February 9th, His contract they guarantee like half of 4.5 million or something like that there is a way to get out there's like nine million in dead dead cap that's money. a lot of don't, dead i don't money, know though. why they would unless, yeah i can't imagine they didn't believe in him playing into his twilight because they are it is the last year of his deal is pretty expensive well um, they owe him 8.25 for this next year and then it goes up to 9.25 and then 10.25 yeah but i mean that's so you're gonna be playing paying like not, a 32 year old doug baldwin with close to 11 million uh, I don't think they'll cut him. Maybe eventually they'll restructure in some sort. But he he's just he's their one constant in that offense. You know, especially right. with a guy like Russell Wilson. Yeah, he's he's Russell's boy. I can't see Russell letting him go anywhere. I don't that's not a ton of money to pay a top end receiver, even if he is playing mostly out of the slot. But I mean, he's still the guy out there in, in one and two wide receiver sets. And yeah. he can beat you vertically. Oh yeah, he wins he, all over the place. He's, he's just got a, a a bevy of of moves here. He, his route, like you said, the route running is like a crispy white tea, just fresh <laughs> out the packet. And I mean, if if you've ever got a crispy white tea and put it on to start your day, yeah. Oh, you feel like a million bucks leaving the house. I kind of like to wash him. You kind of like to wash him. Well, you, then you lose the crease. Yeah, gotta have the crease. Yeah. yeah or how about a fresh pair of Air Force Ones? Okay. All right, fresh pair of Air Force forces. Fresh Any shoes for that matter. Jordans. Yeah. A6 New Balances if you're Uggs, wider. Uggs that you're wearing around the house. Uggs. Me and Jason both have <laughs> Uggs on. Uggs, if you're listening, we'll take a couple miles yeah. if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. Tommy doesn't need to be the only one. I know he's pretty handsome, but right. come on. Let's let me, go. Let me get some of that Uggs money, dog. Yeah. Uh, off seasons off seasons upon us, and downloads are already starting to pick back up. It's <laughs> dynasty season. We need to get these sponsors in. So off all those other moves that he has, you know, he can he can hit you with pretty much anything you kind of want there. He can hit you with a with a little flat route. Um, he can hit you with the bubble screen, the in or the stick, uh, the fade, the curl, skinny post, pick your poison, mm. um, and he'll just hit you with that flawless victory. Yeah. Like he's not even touched. He doesn't get jammed a whole lot. He's hard. He's hard to wrangle up. Um, and then where all that comes into play is like, especially with that vertical stuff is like that double move that he has is so filthy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, you, I just don't really know what else to say. The routes are just so sexy to watch. He just knows how to use all his different gears and all the right spots to get separation. Defenders are guessing what route or the route combo that he's running. And, and kind of with that is just like just the way he runs his routes like he uses different speeds on different routes to just not tip the hand of kind of what or trick the defender into 
you know, where he's going to end up and the route that he's trying to set him up for. It's just really impressive to watch. Um, and especially coming out of that slot where you're, you have the whole field to work with. I mean, right. good luck, man. And a lot of times it's an option route from there. Right. And him and Russell on that same page, it's just, it's he's, tough. He's in the top 15 every every year in wide receiver PPR points. And why wouldn't – that's as safe as you can get here at 16 overall when you're on the clock. Right. There are some younger, shinier options that you could you could possibly go with. Sure. But, you know, when you really look into what Doug Baldwin is bringing to the table, what he has brought to the table, what his skill set is, the rapport he has on the field, his work ethic, everything just says, like, to draft this guy, right? Right. And, I mean, when you're playing Dynasty, I know you can get caught up in trying to win, you know, two or three years from now. I'm not – I, I want to win every year. I want to compete every year. Yeah. I want to I want to have a team that, that is is built to win now and can – I like to have a mixture of youth and, yeah. and veterans. And so you kind of – as a draft unfolds, a startup unfolds, you can take – you know, it's going to – it's gonna every draft unfolds differently. Right. And you're going to have your spots where you could – you can take a, a shinier new object or you can take a solid veteran. And like, I think he falls in that, in that range of that, that I don't know exactly what round you'd be, I guess around the third round. Yeah. Second, third round probably is where you're going to have to take Doug. Baldwin. So are you on, so we were kind of talking about, about win now versus building for the future and, and taking well, Doug Baldwin in a draft. I think, I think with Doug Baldwin, like, you can you can draft kind of how you were saying you kind of get a little mix and then if if you end up seeing that maybe your team isn't you know stacking up to win maybe maybe you you missed on a, a couple of the veterans that you thought were safe or you know what injury every there's all uh, tons mm-hmm. of things that could happen that yeah. just make your season not go the way you want it you'll easily be able to sell Doug Baldwin to a competitor for you know guy who's running for the championship much like you do kind of Larry Fitzgerald every single season. If right. you, you know, if your season's going south and you got Larry, ship him off to somebody for, you know, for something. Obviously, you're going to get more for Doug Baldwin at this point. He's a little younger. Five and, years and, younger. Right, and 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 pretty dynamic, you know, at this point in time. So, Yeah, you that, own Doug Baldwin in a couple of dynasty yeah. leagues we play in, right? Right, and I mean, I, I'm not looking to move him by any means. I do have pretty good teams in, in the two leagues that I do own him in, and I would think if I was gearing up towards a rebuild that, you know, I, I maybe I would I would I'm not going to sell him for cheap. I'm not going to give this guy away for peanuts. I think I could get a haul for Doug mm-hmm. Baldwin. Somebody likes Doug like Big Co for instance. If I wanted to sell Doug Baldwin, I could hit up Big Co and he would give me a a, a pretty solid get back for yeah for Doug Baldwin. So I, I think it's a win win situation. I don't think you can really lose with drafting Doug Baldwin. So. Right. Yeah, I think he can play for for three four five more years right and give you solid dependable production right he's not relying on size or or any of that kind of stuff he's he's relying on himself right like, to and be, he's not one of these bigger dudes that's putting his body on the line play after play getting that that wear and tear that that on a big frame and right all that other stuff right i know you don't like that <laughs> i mean i like it right but, but it's as, something as, to as they get older you right know, it's definitely something to it's take a lot note easier of. to be five nine than right you know than calvin six, johnson yeah, you know Calvin Johnson four. opened some eyes to to what could happen to these older dudes that are yeah. Taking I, th- I mean, this wear I think tear. Calvin Johnson was taking the wear and tear and was in a poor situation. So, I know, yeah. I know, but it, right. I mean, no, nah, but I get what that you're same thing could definitely happen again. But it's it's he's as safe as you can get, and we all have him at 16 in our rankings for the average. Um, and I think I think that'll put a put a wrap on Doug Baldwin. Let's go ahead and take a quick break here, and. Uh, should, should we should we go out to the Cole Beasley the new Be- Cole Beasley rap? Yeah, let's let's do it. Like if let's give old Bees a little run on the yeah. on the obviously the hottest fantasy show spitting fire. So <laughs> yeah. we're spitting the hottest fire. So Bees, give me the Bees knees. All right, take it, Cole. <laughs> 